thought for the day. A good hobby can dispel heartache and give zest to life. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we discuss the importance of choosing hobbies that are enjoyable and promote balance and overall well-being. Have a listen. A little while ago, I came across this idea of separating hobbies into different categories. And this way of thinking about it has really helped me to conceptualize and evaluate the hobbies that I do have in my life. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five different types of hobbies that I believe are really important to help us enrich our lives. And I'll also be sharing some of the ways that I've personally tried to implement these in my own life. This was partly inspired by the quote, Find three hobbies that you love, one to make you money, one to keep you in shape, and one to be creative. And I've added two more categories that I personally believe are really important. First on the list is a hobby to keep you in shape. So we all know how important physical exercise is for our well-being, especially how important exercise is for our body, heart, mind, everything. But let's be honest, sometimes exercise can really feel like a chore. So try to find some form of exercise that you really enjoy, and this will make it much more sustainably and seamlessly integrate into your lifestyle. For example, I once tried to get into running, but to be very honest, I hated it. I'm not sure if it was my mindset, pushing myself too hard, maybe the monotony of running or even just the great British weather, but I just could not stick to this. And almost as soon as I decided on this new habit, I was already skipping out on my running days and I skipped one day, then two days and eventually just stopped altogether. <laughs> if you're a bit like me, sometimes all of the planning and trying to choose the best kind of exercise for XYZ outcome can actually be counterproductive because at the end of the day, what's most important is actually doing some form of exercise rather than trying to force yourself to do the perfect exercise. So really try to find something that you genuinely enjoy and hopefully can sustainably do most days of the week. Second is a hobby to keep you creative. Having a creative outlet allows us to continually express ourselves and also gives us that time and space to really reflect on our own lives. It gives us a great reason to really create that space for challenging ourselves and creating those unique connections between ideas. And creativity also invites us to look for the beauty and magic in the day to day. Ever since I was little, I've really loved music but I never really dedicated a lot of time to actually exploring these creative outlets. This was especially because I was absolutely terrible at art class in school. I generally felt very untalented and pretty rubbish at actual art classes. <laughs> but over the years, I've started dabbling with a bit more amateur photography, more music, journaling, and now making these videos since I started this channel. <laughs> I'd find myself making specific time for each of these creative pursuits. For example, planning a trip to the Botanic Garden to take photos of all the flowers and plants there, or maybe blocking out some time to play music and sing. I've really found that just simply making the space to be creative and that process of creation, it's actually really worthwhile in its own right just for ourselves. And I feel like it's something that's actually helped me to understand myself better. Thirdly, a hobby to make you money. Find a job that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. This quote is getting at the fact that if our work feels like play, then it doesn't really count as work anymore. If you enjoy at least one of the ways that you make money, whether that's your day job or your side hustle or something else entirely, then it will likely feel less like work and more like play, which means that you'll naturally just love doing it more and you're more likely to be naturally good at it simply because you really enjoy it. As a medical student, I love being in the clinical environment, interacting and talking with colleagues and patients. And I really hope that this enjoyment will transfer over to the actual job when I start working as a junior doctor in just under a year's time. For me, over the years, I've also dabbled in various ways of making money on the 
side from pool lifeguarding and working as head bar person at my college bar to tutoring science and maths and even teaching English as a foreign language. I've kind of done a few different jobs and I can tell you with 100% confidence that the ones that I enjoyed the most were the ones that I really got the most out of and like really stuck with. Now for number four, which is my own addition. And I think that having a hobby to grow your mind is so important. I personally love learning new things or like new perspectives all the time. And having a hobby that encourages us to keep on learning and keep evolving our mindset means that we can always find something new from life and keep leveling up towards becoming the version of ourselves that we really want to be. And finally, number five is a hobby to stay connected. And this is something that has been so, so important over the last year, because in today's world, it's so easy to feel disconnected. And especially since the COVID pandemic started and we've been through more than a year's worth of lockdowns, I think it's so crucial to have some way to stay connected with the people around you. Having a hobby that allows you to stay connected with or serve others is so important for our psychological well-being and happiness and also our sense of belonging and fulfillment. This can be via joining clubs or societies, volunteering, perhaps having a weekly scheduled activity with friends, or even just having a habit of regularly connecting with other people, for example, with weekly check-ins. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.